Hi there. Welcome to this happy talk on a Wednesday, just before Christmas. We're getting very, very close to Christmas. And uh, today I just, just a quick one. Nom nom, the taste of life. We, all of us, have a very busy mind. You know, I mean, there are different degrees of busyness. Some are very, very caught up in their mind and some of us are are still caught up, but not as much. And then if we can implement a meditation practice, that can really open up so we don't have to be as busy minded as we have been or as stressed out or as anxious or as worried or as depressed. It's very easy to fall into these different traps of yeah, depression, sadness, anxiety, worry, angry, aggression, any of those, when we are victimized in our mind, minds, when we are still stuck in our mind. So, the taste of life, sweet and sour. And when we look at on the surface level of our lives, and we are, when we, especially if we are caught up in media, um, we are bombarded by negativity all the time. And we are bombarded by thoughts on how we should think and feel. Right, like the media now as well as before, have been extremely. I mean, I, I want to say they've been sh really bad, really shitty, at how they've been reporting on the corona. Um, it's very, very angled, right? Like, even though, sure, we need to be careful, we need to be smart, but we don't have to be living in fear all the time because it doesn't help anybody. So, with that being said, when we are on the mind level, when we are living in that fear-based vibration of negativity or sourness, when we feel like life is kind of sour, when we are a little bit depressed or angry or sad or worried, and that, those are the first thoughts that we wake up with in the morning. Sometimes, even though we do need to treat what's the origin of the problem, why do I feel that way? We need to treat that. But we also, another part of this journey is to learn and, and help us remember who and what we really are. And when we step into our hearts beyond the level of mind, so let's say that on the level of mind is where most of our negative thoughts, depression and anger lives. When we step back into our hearts, we become present. We go into this now. Because when we become aware, of this moment it's also like it's like waking up and smelling the roses it's like going out on a beautiful spring day and you're like oh my god life is right here life is happening right here and that mm, is kind of the it's not kind of it's the truth that's underlying our mind all the time all the time is the beauty and energy of life in your heart, in your body, is love, energy of life. It's always there, even when we don't feel like it. So mind, when we live in the level of mind, then we begin to focus in on darkness, on negativity, on sadness, on depression, on I'm missing that person, I'm missing this person, I'm missing this and that, I'm missing money, whatever the heck it is that, that you're missing. Um, and as we step back into ourselves and we remember the sweet taste of life, because once we get to that space, we recognize and realize life is always sweet. Life itself is always sweet. Even if there are cl clouds on the sky, in the sky, even if there are clouds on the horizon, life itself is always sweet. The sun always shines above the clouds. And our minds can get clouded at times. But the energy of life is still always there. So when we can remember to connect into that, the num num of life, the mm, num num taste life, the taste of life, the beauty of life itself. When we connect deep down there, we can live in presence. We can live in awareness of everlasting energy of life, right? So in religious terms, they call that God or they call it Nirvana or they call it something. But on a more of a spiritual day-to-day -day living term, 
we can say we remember the energy of life, the num num, the sweetness of life. Because that brings out all these other thoughts and feelings, right? It brings out the gratitude. It brings out the love. It brings out the positivity. And the more we anchor ourselves in that field, that vibration, it's not to deny or to reject our, uh, like the other parts of ourselves because they're also there and we need to heal them. But it is to stay and realize and remember, oh, there is love here. There is love here. Thank you, everyone. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. We'll talk soon. Bye. Oh, namaste. And aho.